Wipperman is conducting chain wear tests to quantifiably measure the wear rates of all bicycle chains on the market. The testing is performed on a test rig with a 52 tooth front ring and a 17 tooth rear cog. All tests are conducted with a chain tension of 300 newtons. For each test, 128 links are used, 63 links of the chain being tested, 63 links of Whipperman chain, and two Connex connector links to join the chains. The DIN reference length for 63 links is 800.1 millimeters. The test begins with the length of each subject chain being measured. As you can see, the actual length of new chains varies by as much as 1.2 millimeters among the various subject chains. The test begins with each chain undergoing a 5-hour run-in with its original lubrication under a 300 newton load at 50 cycles per minute with the front and rear cogs in line with each other. After five hours, each chain is cleaned and measured. To measure each chain, one end is fixed in the rig and the other end loaded to approximately 1% of braking load. As you can see, some subject chains show measurable wear even after only five hours of run and testing. For the second phase of the test, the front and rear cogs are offset five degrees to the left to approximate maximum cross gearing. With the chain running under a 300 newton load at 50 cycles per minute, water is applied, then oil, and finally, sand. After five minutes at 50 cycles per minute under a 300 newton load, the cycle speed is increased to 100 cycles per minute under a 300 newton load for 10 hours. At the end of the 10 hour test period, each chain is cleaned and measured and its length recorded. For the third phase of the test, water, oil, and sand are again applied, and the front and rear cogs of the test machine are offset five degrees to the right to approximate maximum cross gearing in the other direction. Again, after a five minute run in period at 50 cycles per minute, the speed is increased to 100 cycles per minute under a 300 newton load for 10 hours. At the end of the third phase, each chain is again cleaned and measured and its length recorded. For the fourth phase, the application of water, oil, sand is repeated and each chain is run at 100 cycles per minute with the front and rear cogs in line for 15 hours. At the end of this phase, each chain is again cleaned and measured and its length recorded. This fourth phase test protocol with the front and rear cogs in line is repeated every 15 hours until the subject chain shows 1% wear, which is to say a measured length of 808.1 millimeters, 8 millimeters longer than the DIN standard for a new chain. At this point, the chain is considered worn out. As you can see, Whipperman's 10SX chain with stainless steel inner links undergoes 114 hours of this test before it shows 1% wear, considerably outwearing all competitor chains tested to date. These chain wear tests are ongoing and this video will be updated as additional test results become available. To find out more information about Whipperman Connex chains, including shifting performance comparison tests of Whipperman Connex chains versus other chains, please visit www.cantitoroad.com.